Dad. Hmm. How would the plane carry that bomb? Oh, I used to carry lots of bombs, mate. We'll have a look inside in a minute. No, oh, it's all be made out of cast cast iron, probably. So that's a pretty pretty big tire, isn't it? Yeah, see where it goes up inside the wing? Look up in here. See how it goes up in there? Folds up when they when it flies. Pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, used to be a plane, it was in World War Two, mate. And then broke. And then they're remaking it, yeah? Yep, Dad? they're rebuilding it. No, it used to shoot, that's one of the gun turrets. Is there two? Oh, there was probably four or five, I think, mate. They're the triggers. Mm -hmm. Huh? Not much room in there. This is what they sit. Yeah, they used to sit inside there as well. This is bigger than another one. That is tiny. Tiny. Oh, yeah. Doing a pretty good job of restoring it all. Is he still alive? No. He died. Probably. This is where they kept all the bombs inside here. See this little walkway in the middle there? Yeah. That's where the man used to walk between and then he would charge up the bombs before they dropped them out of the plane. You'd have to pull a little safety pin out to make when it hit the ground it blew up. And have lots of them in here. How much? Heaps of them. So if that bomb touches the plane. No, no, no. Boom. Oh, you have to be careful. Oxygen up there. How would the man get that oxygen? Oh, I don't know. Probably had hoses, mate. Probably had like, um, you know, when you go diving, you have the hose with the mouthpiece. Probably had something like that he could get onto. That's the turbo supercharger there mounted below each engine. Pretty advanced for the time. It says here they had a range of 3,000 miles. Could fly to nearly 10 kilometers high. And a cruising or maximum speed of uh, 300 mile an hour. And a payload of 8,000 pounds of bombs. And it also says there there was 20,000 of them built. Thank you. 
Não é? That's Grady Gaston. Um, 7 EMU station, three weeks after his rescue. So what you say the, that camera there was for? It's for taking um, reconnaissance shots, if you like. Oh, okay. Um, and before and after shots, they, you know, they dropped some bombs and because they didn't just have one bomb. Yes. Um, maybe Taylor and Charlie would hopefully get a shot of what, what damage had been done. Oh, okay. And what's this thing in? It's a, uh, uh, it's a, an emergency radio beacon. Send you out an SOS. Oh, okay, if they crashed or yeah. Oh, okay, was that used on Little Eva? Do you know or was it used when Little Eva crashed? Oh, um, no idea. Tell you, yeah. yeah. Um, well, if you read the story, of Little Eva, there was some bloke lost in the bush. <laughs> yeah, um, for a while. Yeah. Pretty harsh country up there. If it was used, they maybe didn't pick it up. Yeah. Um, it was mainly used on, um, you know, inflatable life rafts and stuff. Like oh, that. okay. Um, 